Hey guys, how's it going? Okay, so I just got a quick video for you today. So this is my Bernie Les Paul style guitar that I did a review on a few weeks ago and it's a really cool guitar. It's got some sustainer electronics and it's got a Floyd Rose setup, which you know for a Les Paul style guitar is not very common. But this guitar did have one problem with it when I first got it and that was actually with the nut. So I, I went ahead and changed that out and you know, while I was doing it, I thought, well, this might actually make a pretty cool video in case somebody needs to do the same thing. So basically the problem up here was that somebody had swapped out their nut at some point and they had used, you know, something with some weird dimensions to it. And so the locking nut clamps were actually the wrong size for the nut itself. So I ended up just swapping out the whole thing. And fortunately, it's a pretty easy operation to change out your nut. So I'll go ahead and cut to a close-up of the nut here. So if you look real closely at the locking clamps and then the nut itself, you can see actually the locking clamps didn't really sit down in the nut the way they're supposed to. So in this case, the nut was actually too small for the locking clamps. And I did try you know, some other clamps I had from other guitars and it just seemed to be that the problem was with the nut itself being too small. And of course this presents a big problem because if the locking clamps can't clamp down on the strings the way they're supposed to, then the strings are just gonna slide around all over the nut. Hopefully in this image you can see that the clamps are not seating properly. So now with the nut being the wrong size, I don't know if this is something that was just due to a parts mix up or maybe it's age related with uh, you know, it being a used guitar or it could have just been defective from the beginning. Now fortunately we can replace our nut with some common tools. All you're really gonna need is a very small screwdriver. So if you look at the original nut, once you remove those locking clamps, there are two screws kind of right in the middle of the nut. You just wanna go ahead and remove those. This is of course after you've loosened the strings because they're gonna put a lot of pressure on the nut. Once you've done that, you can just kind of pick them up and move them out of the way. You don't actually have to take the strings completely off the guitar. Now, after you've done that, on this guitar, there's a string tensioner bar that you wanna remove as well. So once you've moved the strings and you've removed those two screws, you should be able to just reach down with your hand and grab the nut and just pull it right off. So now here, I'm comparing the new nut to the old one. Now, something you wanna check is to make sure the slots that the strings go in are at about the same height because that will affect the action. So the overall height of the nut is going to affect the amount of action you get on the guitar. So now using that same little screwdriver, we're just going to reverse the process we did when we took the original nut off. Just gonna place the nut on there, gonna put those two screws back in, then you can move the strings back on and put your tensioner bar back in. And now, as you can see here, the locking clamps fit the nut perfectly. All right guys, so now the new nut that I got, uh, I just bought off of eBay. It was only about $15. Now it's not an original uh, Floyd Rose, like made in Germany nut. Uh, it's just one, you know, it's probably made in China or something like that, but it was made to the same specs and it's working great for my purposes. So as always, I'll put some links in the video description where you can find that stuff below. Uh, something I should mention is that after looking at this and doing the swap, I did notice that somebody had already swapped out that nut. That's why it was messed up. So it wasn't really anything that was wrong with the design of the guitar or anything like that. If you're thinking about getting one of these, because this is a really cool guitar. And that's the only problem I had with it, and that was really just because I bought it used. All right, guys, that's it for today. Hopefully the nut swap video was helpful to anybody in that same situation. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Talk to you soon.